All right. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for being here tonight. My name is Joshua Steele, and it's my sincere pleasure to welcome you to the kickoff of our Jazz at the Memo series once again here at Memorial Hall. Uh, really appreciate you being here on a dark, cold Tuesday pandemic night. Thanks for choosing to be with us. Uh, a housekeeping note before we get underway, you guys all look very well behaved, but just to say it out loud, in order to keep performers and your fellow audience members safe tonight, please do wear those face masks at all times during the show. Uh, if you are enjoying a beverage, please do put that face, ma mask, face mask back on between sips. We'd sincerely appreciate that, and I promise to put mine back on as soon as I'm done blathering up here. Folks, as you've probably come to expect if you've been with us before, this year's Jazz at the Memo series is jam-packed with exceptional local, regional, and indeed national talent this year. Uh, Jazz at the Memo will be here Monday and Tuesday nights, January all the way through the end of April. But folks, the jazz will not stop there. As we've done in years past, Jazz at the Memo will move across Elm Street to our sister venue, Washington Park, uh, for our fabulous Jazz in the Park series. That will be most Monday nights May all the way through the end of September. So if you're keeping score, that is nine months of weekly live jazz here in the OTR Arts Corridor. Coming up next week on Tuesday, January 25th, we are pleased to welcome uh, Kaigo Hirakawa and his quartet here to Jazz at the Memo. They'll be making their debut, although uh, Kaigo is an old hand across the street at Jazz in the Park. Uh, his playing and his compositions are as inventive as his career. Uh, at night, you can find him playing world-class jazz keyboard at venues in Dayton and Cincinnati. And during the day, he teaches electrical and computer engineering at the University of Dayton. Very brilliant guy. You don't want to miss Kaigo Hirakawa and his quartet. That's right here next week, Tuesday, January 25th. And closer at hand, ladies and gentlemen, we're very pleased to welcome another fantastic artist making his Memorial Hall debut tonight. Uh, his extraordinary life in music has taken him from Cincinnati to New York City, Hong Kong, Singapore, Japan, and India, and he has played with greats, including Richie Cole, Curtis Fuller, and Delfayo Marsalis, just to name a few. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Greg Chacot and the Unity Band. Hello. On behalf of the band... Matt Holt on bass, Lee McKinney on drums, and myself, Greg Chico on guitar. We'd like to welcome you and thank you for coming out to Memorial Hall tonight. Starting with this intro and throughout the overall program with some occasional announcements during the course of the performance, I'll share some brief words with you so that you'll have a little more insight to the music we're presenting than solely letting the music speak for itself. The title of tonight's show is Jazz, the American Music of Freedom, a tribute to MLK. Martin Luther King was an African-American man who stood for freedom and unity in diversity. And if I were asked to define jazz using only one word, I would use the word freedom. And like Dr. King, jazz was born in America out of a decidedly black American experience. But these days, the words unity and diversity are exemplified more than ever before by the fact that this musical style has become like a common language which is shared by people all over the world. It is, arguably, America's greatest artistic gift to the world. So having said that, let me introduce the first song of the evening by one of America's greatest composers, George Gershwin. And this song, truthfully, has occupied my imagination with great anticipation at this particular time of year because it's called summertime. And summertime cannot come to us too soon, in my opinion.
Thank you. This next song uh, is a song of mine. And I'd just like to tell you briefly how it came to be. I was living in Japan some years ago and I was watching the evening news and the uh, horrible tsunami that was occurred near Banda Aceh, Indonesia had happened and the news reporters were talking about all the people from all over the world who came to assist with the cleanup and bring supplies. And um, this kind of ties in with the words I spoke at, before we started playing when it comes to unity and di diversity because that's what they were talking about. And it occurred to me that out of this tragedy came uh, not only a, a love of a wave of destruction, but a wave of love, the outpouring of love that came after the destructive wave. And uh, I wrote the song on the spot in about 20 minutes. So I uh, hope you enjoy Wave of Love. <laughs> Thank you. 
Actually, thank you. In real life, the wave of love continues, but tonight we have to end the song. And we're going to play another original of mine. This is a relatively new composition that um, I wrote for an album that... Um, is featuring an organ trio, which is, I think, one of the things the Midwest is known for. So a Hammond B3 organ and a guitarist and a drummer. And uh, um, of course, unfortunately, we don't have an organ player with us tonight. So Matt is playing the organ part. So, <laughs> but I wanted to explain this. Uh, because of the name. So I came up with a cutesy name. This is called Organomics.
Okay, this next one is um, by probably my favorite jazz guitarist, the late Wes Montgomery. I don't know if any of you can tell, but I don't use a pick. I play with my thumb and my fingers, and uh, I've played that way for years. And uh, we're gonna feature, uh, to some extent at least, our bassist, Matt Holt, because he's going to play the melody uh, with me. And this is a blues called West Coast Blues, and it's um, a little unusual as it's in 3-4 time.
All right. We're going to play a song by the great, late Billy Higgins, who was a drummer, played with, oh gosh, so many people. And, um, and he wrote this. It's called Marilyn's Dilemma. And so, because it's a Billy Higgins song, of course, we're going to give the drummer some. And uh, most, some of these songs, um, maybe almost all of them, except the one that I didn't record yet, are available on one of my 10 CDs. And my beautiful better half is manning the table out there. So perhaps as you get some refreshments during the break, you can take a look and uh, you'll see that most of these, the uh, bulk of these songs are, have been recorded. And uh, yeah, so pick it up. Give me some gas money home, you know.
Thank you. So we're going to close out our first uh, show, first performance, um, with an original of mine called Samba Summer.
Thank you very much. Uh, we'll be back in, I can't remember, 15 minutes, something like that. But uh, please stick around. We've got a whole new show. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get started again. But before, I have something I'd like to play by myself uh, as part of connected to the opening remarks I made about uh, the theme of the program tonight. And, and it's, it's a timely, timely piece. I have a number of uh, guitar students and one of them was just whipping through all of the, the music I had prepared for him. And then I asked him, I said, okay, well, what do you want to learn next? And he asked for this song, which uh, hopefully you'll all recognize. So we're going to start this second set with a couple songs of mine. This first one is called Boppin' at Berlitz. Does anyone know what Berlitz is? I heard something, but it's the uh, oldest language school in the world. Over 100 years ago, founded in Rhode Island. And I used to work for Berlitz in Yokohama, Japan. I taught English as a second language. And in between lessons, I used to bring in a small guitar. Usually, we only had five minutes in between lessons, but when a student would cancel, we would have five minutes plus whatever their lesson time was. 
So I wrote this song uh, on one of those breaks.
A couple of years ago, um, shortly after I returned to my hometown of Cincinnati in 2017, I became very busy writing music. I wrote a lot of music, and um, I wrote uh, each, uh, the, the, the songs I was writing had a theme, each, each pot potential CD um, had a, a particular theme, and this next song that we're going to do, the theme was basically um, bass first, and what that means is that bass, uh, it, it's, a, it's a duet, all the material is duet material, uh, guitar and acoustic bass, and for most of the songs, bass plays the melody, not the guitar, so even though the guitar is in a higher register, I have to arrange it in such a way that the bass melody stands out. And uh, then some of the songs were more of a counterpoint, like a Bach two-part invention, where the bass and the guitar were both playing, uh, would both play melodies. Anyway, we're going to play one of the songs from that as yet unreleased CD. And the other kind of cute thing about it is all the titles have the word bass in it either B-A-S-S -S or B-A-S-E. And this particular song, you've heard of Bossa Nova, right? You all like Bossa Nova. Well, this is Bassa Nova. That's the name of this. And of course, we feature our bassist this evening, Matt Holt.
So um, we're going to play Return Back to the Great American Songbook for a minute and um, play of the Great American Songbook composers. I, I, I think my favorite is Cole Porter. And we're going to do a Cole Porter composition now called Love for Sale.
Porter, gotta love him. So, I want to do another one of mine. 
This one, also not recorded yet. This one, also uh, from my hopefully soon to be released organ trio CD. And this is called Waltz for Wayne. And for those of you familiar with the local Cincinnati scene, uh, Wayne, Wayne's last name is Yeager, Wayne Yeager. And um, I moved away from Cincinnati um, in 1976 after graduating high school. And I went to Berkeley College of Music, then to New York, and then I ended up in Asia. But before the Asia part, I did come back for one year in the mid 80s. And uh, I ran a jazz program at a club in North College Hill called Doc's Place. And uh, on the corner of Cedar and uh, Hamilton. And yeah, I brought in, oh my gosh, you wouldn't believe it, so many great artists, not just local artists, but internationally known people too. And Wayne was, um, the organist in my house band. He kept the organ in the club. Bobby Scott played drums, the late Bobby Scott, good friend of mine. Uh, Francine Griffin, also gone, was the singer. And um, we had a tenor player named Dave Blinkenstaff. That was the house band. And uh, we had a jam session on Mondays. We played four nights a week. Can you believe that? Live jazz, four nights a week. And uh, people like Al Collins and Herb Ellis and Jimmy Rainey, some of the guitar players, people like Bobby Watson, uh, Lanny Morgan, uh, Junior Cook, oh gosh, uh, Bobby Lytle, uh, well, a lot of guys. And so this, <laughs> I digress. This, this song is for Wayne, and um, he's kind of retired, so couldn't be with us tonight. Hope you enjoy this uh, jazz waltz. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, we're going to do another composition of mine. This one I wrote um, years ago and released on, I think it was my second, second CD release called Sudden Impact. There are copies outside. And um, as I said earlier, uh, Wes Montgomery is one of my favorite players, guitar players. Uh, I actually don't like guitar players. I never listen. I listen to I listen to piano players and saxophone players and drummers and bassists, but when I do listen to Wes, I mean to guitar players, I listen to Wes. Anyway, um, he he did an album with Jimmy Smith, and it had picture of of Wes on one side and Jimmy Smith on the other, and a hoagie like a some kind of meat pie in between them, and and on, and he did a song called Fried Pies. So that's the inspiration for this next song. But when I wrote this, I was living in Singapore. So Singapore, they've got fried pies there too, but they have curry in them. So I call it fried curry pies. All right, hope you enjoy this. Thank you. 
up things for us tonight once again you're listening to bad hope on the bass lee mckinney on the drums my name is greg chicot thank you very much 